Thank you all viewers and subscribers for tune into our channel. In previous part of this project, we have seen brief introduction to the project, IoT-based smart door lock. In this part we will see about software setup and configurations. So we will see how to getting started with Particle Photon P0, how to set up Particle account, and how to claim your device. Then we will see how to program Particle Photon P0, for that we need to see how to install Visual Studio Code Editor, how to install Particle Workbench extension in VS Code, how to install Particle CLI, command line interface, how to create Particle project, how to install different libraries, and how to cloud compile and flash the code. After that we will see about NextGen display, how to download and install editor ID. We will see about its interface, how to create NextGen project. And finally, we'll see how to compile and flash the NextGen touchscreen display. Let's get started and see how to set up Particle account. Let's go to this link where they have given steps to set up the Particle account. So we will open this link now. Here you can see the all the details about this board are given. You can go through them. Here the button which saying, set up your photon. Click on that button, new window will get open. Here you have to open new account with your email ID. Enter your details here to create new particle account. Particle account is necessary to register the particle devices to particle cloud in order to compile and flash them. If you have account already, then you can click here for login. In this way you can go to particle website and set up a new account. It's easy, but don't forget to verify your email. We already have account with particle, so we will log in directly with email ID and password. Now, let's go to our previous screen. Okay, now let's see how to claim your particle device, means registering your device to particle cloud. For this go to this link. We will share these links on our GitHub account, as well as in description of this video. Now, let's open the link. Alright, you can see here, they have given steps to claiming your particle device. There are three different ways to claim a new device. One with Particle Mobile App, 2. Using Web Browser, and 3. With Particle Command Line Interface. You can use any of them, as per your convenience. So, you can see here, they have given stepwise procedure for each method, with screenshots. You can easily claim your device using any of these ways. Now, let's go back to our previous screen. So we have seen how to create particle account and how to claiming particle device. Let's move forward and learn how to program particle photon P0 development board. We will program photon using Visual Studio Code Editor with particle workbench extension. Let's see how to download and install them. So, here is the link to download Visual Studio Code. Open this link. Here you can see different versions of VS Code as per operating systems and processors. Download the correct best suited version for your platform. Install it on your system. After installation, open it, you will find interface will look somewhat like this. Wait, our work is not yet completed. This is just VS Code Editor. Now we need to add Particle Workbench extension to it. For that go to this left side tools bar. Here, you will find option, extensions. Click on that option to open extension marketplace. There are number of extensions in marketplace for various programming languages like Python, C++, Java, etc. Also, for development boards like Arduino, ESP32, Raspberry Pi Pico, etc. So here, we will search for word particle. This workbench option will get available, click on that, it will open extension pack for the particle workbench on the right side window. Click on install button, here, to install this extension. This will take some time, and, you will need internet connected to download this extension. After successful installation, 
you will see this particle logo on this toolbar. Next step is, you need to install Particle Command Line Interface, CLI. The Particle CLI is a powerful tool for interacting with particle devices and cloud. Here is the link from which you can download Particle CLI. After opening this link, you will see detailed procedure for installing Particle CLI on different platform like Mac OS or Linux. For Windows you need to download CLI, installer given here, click here to start download, then install it on your system. After installation, you can verify that by going into Command Prompt for Windows and Terminal for Linux. We have Windows machine, so let's show you how to verify that in Windows, here is the command prompt running. You need to just type particle help and press enter. This will show all the help for particle CLI and its version. Please note that here we have already installed particle CLI on our system, that is why it is showing. But for you, you should first download it, install it, and then verify. So, this was about installation of Particle CLI which is prerequisite for Workbench. Now, let's see about Particle Workbench in detail. You will see this Particle logo at this toolbar after you successfully add Particle extension to VS Code. When you click on that, extension interface will get open. Which will look like this. You can find here options for launching command palette, Particle login, and creating new project. To open command palette, here are the shortcut keys. Like Control, Shift, P, for Windows and Linux. This will open command palette, like this. You need to type different commands to interact with Workbench extension tool. Here are few showing in history. You will find more detailed documentation about how to use Particle Workbench in VS Code and how to use tutorials on Particle website, also on internet. You should check them out. Okay, let's move forward and see. Next important step is you need to log into your particle account from here. Click on login button or you can type command particle login. Here, new console field will get open, prompting user to input a username. Enter your credentials here to get login. We are already logged in, so if I click login here, it will show our user ID here. Here are few options of development workflow creating new project, installing library, configuring device, installing toolchain, compiling and flashing the code locally or on cloud. Go through all these options, explore VS Code Editor features before you create new project. VS Code is very user-friendly and there is huge community out there using it for development. If you got stuck anywhere, you will definitely get help on internet or you can also ping us on Telegram or WhatsApp, we'll be happy to help. Okay, let's move forward, let's see what our NextGen displays. Visit NextGen's website by going to this link, let's open it. Here is their website. They have given brief introduction about NextGen here. What's NextGen? NextGen is a human-machine interface, HMI solution. These displays have onboard processor and memory. All the touchscreen and displayer-related processing will be carried out on display itself. You just need to send and receive few command from your main MCU. Using the NextGen Editor software, you can quickly develop the HMI GUI by drag and drop components like graphics, text, button, slider, etc. NextGen HMI display connects to peripheral MCU via TTL serial, 5 volt, TX, RX, and ground to provide event notifications that peripheral MCU can act on. The peripheral MCU can easily update progress and status back to NextGen display, utilizing simple ASCII text-based instructions. The main advantages of NextGen display are, 1. It reduces GUI design overhead, and 2. It reduces the HMI development workloads. Now, you can download NextGen GUI Editor software from their website. Link is given below. 
In this session we are not going to cover next-gen GUI editing because video is getting longer. So, in next part of this project, in hardware interfacings, we have briefly explained about how to getting started with next-gen display, how to create next-gen IDE project, how to create simple GUI, and how to compile and flash the project, etc. You should go through it. We will provide NextGen project file and TFT file of this project on our GitHub account. You can download it, load it using NextGen editor software and modify or edit it as per your display resolution. This was all about software configuration of the project. In next video we will see hardware interfacing of main components in the project and their coding. Stay tuned.